So I once knew a girl, I'm not going to say her name because if I say her name, Emily is going to be pissed. And she always used to describe her problems to me. She always used to say, I have this problem with this boy or this problem and blah, 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 blah. We weren't in a re relationship. We would just sleep with each other and uh, would basically be like friends. And we used to talk a lot. Um, and she always used to tell me I have this problem and that problem and this guy nags me and this and this and that, right? And I always thought to myself, what easy problems do you have? These problems are so easy to solve and I didn't understand our problems. And now finally I understood that not understanding a woman's problems, a woman's stupid, easy problems, is the best way to know if you're masculine or not. Because girl, girls can't deal with real stress. We're not supposed to say it, but girls' problems, feminine female problems, so problems with feelings and stuff, they aren't real problems. Girls and feminine people in general, I'm just going to refer to feminine people as girls in this video, and girls, so feminine people, cannot deal with stress. Whenever you put stress onto a female person, onto a girl, they crumble most of the time. Whenever I used to tell her one little critique point, she wouldn't message me for days and would cry on the phone or whatever. So you cannot put stress on female people. I have this experience had with many girls. As soon as you put any form of stress on, on girls, they crumble below the stress. And it's supposed to be like that. Women are emotional beings and we shouldn't condemn this about them. We should rather accept it and see it as beautiful. But female problems aren't real. And I need you to know that this is not your problem. As soon as a girl wants you to think about her problems, instantly build up a wall. Instantly. Because it's a problem of feelings. And if it's not your girlfriend, don't be bothered. Seriously, if it's your girlfriend, if you love her, fine, help her. Because her problem, I promise, will be easy to solve. Easy. If you don't, if you, listen, if you cannot deal with your fucking best friend, Carmilla or whatever her stupid name is, just tell her to fuck off, seriously. Just beat the shit out of her. <laughs> like, she's not that strong. And, hold up. Can't see me. Now you can see me. And let's not cry about the fact that women have easier problems than us men. Because in the movie Barbie, there is a girl who the movie is about. And her mother, at some point of the movie, she breaks down and tells all the other Barbies um, the problems that she has. And women were so like, oh my God, she finally talked about it. Oh my God. She finally said all her all of our problems. Like we have to deal with so much stress. And I sat in the fucking movie with that girl <laughs> who complained to me all the times. And she said, look, my problems are real. She said it in like, like this bitchy tone. <laughs> and I was sitting there. And I was sitting there. Man, you, you couldn't, you couldn't. I was so grateful that the fucking, that the theater was this dark. Like, <laughs> you couldn't. You, you couldn't fucking imagine the joy in my eyes which I in which I thought I am so grateful that you don't have real problems. <laughs> like, like what the fuck? Even even the problems she lists in the fucking movie. That that woman lists problems of men <laughs> we would laugh about. Like what are you gonna complain about next? Like, oh my god, my makeup is wrong. I'm on, I have to go to therapy. <laughs> <laughs> let's all have a laugh man honestly let's all have a laugh um and let's not complain about our problems because we're men you think the men on the titanic wanted to complain you think the men in world war ii do you think the fucking teenagers storming the beaches of normandy wanted to fucking complain you think they wanted to cry of course but let's not let's not cry about our problems let's not adapt this feminine way of dealing with our problems which is simply sitting there and bitch about it it's not going to change a damn thing
the problems you have as a man are not going to be solved through talking about them. Whenever a girl tries to convince you to talk about your problems, instantly tell her, no, that's not the way I deal with my problems. When I have a problem, I go solve it. Because men's problems stem from being undisciplined. Name any problem. Name a masculine problem. Like, I don't have enough money. I don't have this job. I'm not an entrepreneur yet. I didn't make it. Blah, 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 blah. I can't play football this good. Name any problem of a masculine man and tell me you cannot fix it with more discipline. I don't have enough money. Best problem for men. Most men struggle with this. I don't have enough money. I don't have enough status. Develop more discipline, work harder. Your status will increase, your money will increase. Boom, problem solved. We don't need to talk about men's problems. Men's problems are easy to solve. Equally as easy as women's problems are to solve. Men's problems are are solved with hard work and discipline. And women's problems are solved, <laughs> I don't know, by being a man, whatever. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how women's problems are solved. I never, I never thought about how women solve problems because they never do solve problems. We're not supposed to say this. It's, it's, it sounds so misogynistic to say that women's problems aren't real, but it is like that. <laughs> like, like, I think that the phrase, you're a man, behave like one, needs to come back. It needs a comeback, seriously. Whenever you see a man crying or being undisciplined, say you're a man. Be one. Act like one. Stand up. Get the tears out of your eyes. Work on. Let's go. You're a man. You're a man needs to come back. So every single time you, you see a little bitch of a man on the street crying or whatever, don't go up and give him a hug. Walk up to him like the misogynistic piece of shit you are. <laughs> like me. <laughs> like we all are. Sorry. We all are somewhat misogynistic if we're watching this type of video and if you're that far deep into this video. Walk up to him and tell him you're a man. Get up. And everyone on the street, I promise, everyone will tell you, you're a misogynist. You're, let, him, let him be. Maybe he identifies as a fucking helicopter or something. <laughs> we are going to cure weak, undisciplined, pussy men within a few months if everyone who watches this video tells their friends about this video and spreads this video like a virus and tells everyone, be a man, be a man, be a man, you're a man, whatever. We're going to cure the problem of feminine, of feminine men. We're going to cure this problem because it is a problem. We have a weak country and weak men create hard times and hard times are coming and in hard times, guess who the fuck they in your class will call if there's a school shooting. <laughs> the guy who they used to call misogynistic yesterday, they are tomorrow going to tell protect us from the school shooter. It's not supposed to be said like this, but the strong men are going to be the men who will have to carry the country on their shoulders when everything goes to shit because of weak feminine men. And those are going to be the men that after the war is over, after the school shooting is over, are going to have to stand and critique because they insulted the attacker as a bitch. <laughs> and because she then was a whore out of, out, of, out of coincidence. Or that he was a whore for that matter. Don't know it these days. <laughs> the quick message of this video, the implementary action part that you can take action on is to be a man. As stereotypical as you want. John Wayne shit. James Bond shit. So man up. And be a man. Because life is like football. It is like football. American football. Not the pussy type of football. Where they kind of kick around a ball. But the man type of football. Where they kill each other. Every position in football is equally as hard. Except quarterback. That's a different kind of story. But every... 
single position is equally as hard, but the difficulty is distributed in a different way. And this is how life is. Alignment up front needs a lot of force, but very little thinking. You don't need to think if you're going right or left. If you make a tackle, you did your job right. A receiver on the other end doesn't need much physical stuff, right? He, he needs to maybe put his shoulder down a little bit, but he doesn't need much. He, need, he doesn't need to be much physical. He needs to be able to catch the ball and run a little bit. The most game of a receiver is to know the routes and to know maybe some reads or some blocking scheme or whatever. And safeties need to know a bunch of coverage shit and, and, and this kind of shit, right? They don't need to be physical. They need to know it, right? The difficulty is up here instead of in here. And this is the same thing in life. Life is equally as difficult for everyone, but men have their difficulty more like a line man more like in the brute force that goes forward with discipline and action. And women have the difficulty in here, like a, like a safety or a cornerback or a DB or whatever. So they need to think more. They need to, they need to talk more about their problems to solve them maybe or whatever. They need to discover something within themselves. What the fuck ever they need to do. They need to be more in their head than men. If you understood this, I think that you are a high value man. And this is also kind of a blueprint to solve a woman's problems is by simply is by simply telling her that it's not a real problem. It's not a real problem because if you want to solve a woman's problems, you just need to simply give her a love. Because women grow through love, men grow through challenge. So if you see a woman who has a problem always interpreted in a way that says I'm not feeling loved enough. Every time a woman tells you of any problem she has, she is in fact saying, I don't get enough love from the, from the person I desire love from. And if that's you, if you are her boyfriend and she complains often, even about small things like her handbag is missing, she lost her phone, whatever, small problems, small, 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 feminine, not real problems. Then you simply walk up to her and tell her, I love you and your problem is solved because women grow through love and men through challenge. So man up, challenge yourself today and master your mind.